Hey, welcome to my new video. Today I'm just going to be showing a save file that I have called Focus Stories. So in the save file, I only have one household uh, or one played household per world. Uh, so let's just get into it here. Starting with Magnolia Promenade, got Zoe Mills. In Newcrest, Cassie the Friendly Ghost, or Cassie Freed. In Glimmerbrook, I have the Freys. Not related, but they're both forest creatures. And I did not mean to hit that trash button, so cancel. In San Machino, I have Santiago. Oh, he's a vampire, and he's got two roommates. In Brindleton Bay, I have Nova Knight. In Oasis Spring, I have Laszlo Scaly. In Strangerville, I have Emma Groves, and she's kind of based off me. And in Chesterfield, I have, or sorry, Bright Chester, I have the Chesterfield family, so Fiona Chesterfield who's supposed to be married or engaged to feel excited. Um, in Forgotten Hollow, I have the Monsters family. Um, for the Breed Out the Bad Challenge, they're available on my gallery. In uh, Sulani, I have mermaids. They're roommates. Each mermaid's a different color. Green, purple, red, and uh, Villainous Valentines in Willow Creek, which were featured in my last video. The Toshi Manor is um, my vampire and ghost, and they had a child. In Windenburg, I have the Bones family, so Bone Hilda and a skeleton from the jungle pack. Um, Hanford on Bagley is Patchy Strawman, who you can unlock. In Delso Valley, I have my um, celebrity werewolf, Orion Lockwood. And in Moonwood Mill, I have Elizabeth Hunt, who is a werewolf that I just randomly made. So, um, I'm going to actually show you them in more detail. So, starting um, from the top again. So, Zoe Mills. So, a uh, close-up of her. And she's uh, one of my newest sims, which is why I think I spent so long showing her here. And so here's her formal outfit. Athletic. Sleep. Party. Swimming. Hot weather. And cold weather. She's actually one of the newer sims that I just made. Um, next is Cassie, the friendly ghost, or Cassie Freed, the freeloader, um, which I've already shown in another video, so I'm skipping her. <laughs> Jasper Woods is supposed to be, I don't know what he's supposed to be, he's just like a magical forest creature who likes mischief and stuff like that. He wears the same outfit for everything. Same with Tara. She's also um, like a little forest nymph, I guess. And she's got a lot of traits that make her very, very irresistible to most other sims. So that's pretty fun. And she has a pet raccoon named Twigs, who I will show here shortly. Um, but here's her outfits. She's only got changed for um, swimming and sleeping, or swimming and athletic, I think, are the only two really different ones. Oh, I didn't show Twigs, but Twigs is a raccoon. So, Santiago in Del Sol, oh wait, no, in San Machino. So, he's a vampire. Um, he's getting a little bit chubby ever since I moved those two human females in. Um, he had an extra room in his apartment, so I figured I'd get him some roommates, and you know, um, they have a sp 
specific job at night time. So they are able to pay their rent that way. So I really like his outfits. I think they're very city, urban style. And I try to make um, Mindy here kind of fit the role of the vibe I was going for. I don't know how to put it into words, but you get it. And then Svetlana, I named after um, that show Shameless, USA. So that's Svetlana Ivanov. Russian mail order bride, maybe? I don't know. Next we have... Um, Nova Knight, spellcaster. And yes, I make all my sims like super hot, super fit, like whatever, leave me alone. <laughs> Except for Cassie, she's still super hot, but she's not super fit. So, Nova, um, she has a pet, a fox named Jinx, who has two different color eyes. Here's her outfits, formal, athletic, sleep, party, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. There you have it. And again, I didn't show the pet. Oh, I remembered. So it's Jinx, super super cute, playful, adorable little pet, who also can be um, a spellcaster's familiar. In Oasis Springs, here we have Laszlo, uh, which I thought of the name from that show, What We Do in the Shadows, about uh, documentary about vampires and I thought since he's kind of lizard-esque I was trying to find an L name with a Z and that just popped into my mind so he's now Laszlo Scaly and I just kind of threw him together I think I um, got the base of him from the gallery just like a random the little random light bulb in the that you can generate sims from the gallery if you're connected online but I made him look more like a lizard and ha gave him better fashion. Uh, so Emma Groves, this one, one of my favorites. If I could be um, a famous or professional gamer, I totally would be, but there's no way that I could ever do that. So it's just kind of a little fantasy. So in Sims, I gave her that career and I gave her the traits to kind of excel, like the genius trait, but I also had to give her some traits that were more similar to me, like the paranoid trait <laughs> and the geek trait. And I mean, if you're going to be a professional gamer, you are going to have the nerd trait anyway. And I put her in Strangerville because it's a fun um, storyline to play through a little investigation storyline and that's her alien form and I made Emma an alien because I feel like I'm an alien sometimes and that's why I decided to make her an alien and of course she has a dog that I didn't show but um, her dog looks similar to my dog so Fiona Chesterfield she is an old-timey ghost, very fair skinned, fair features, young adult, and she um, was supposed to be getting married to Felix. Um, so all of her outfits are the same except for her sleep and swim. I 
tried to make it look like what they would wear underneath back then. There wasn't much to choose from, but I managed to throw that together. So that's Fiona, and then I added T86 Brown was just randomly a random generated sim that I added to her household for fun. And onto my monsters family. And none of them are related. I think I might have made Frank uh, marry Julia, who I'll show next. Um, but this is Frank Steinberg. A good looking Frankenstein, I guess? I don't know. He's athletic and a slob. And I based him off of one of the pre made. Uh, I started him from one of the pre made Sims. Um, the black man in the tight black t shirt. Yeah, see, you probably know exactly who it is from his outfit. Next is Julia Gulia. And she's just a super skinny, skeleton esque type. Ghoul, I don't know. On to Sully Jr. Sully, of course, I got that name from Monsters Inc. Although Sully was. Was Sully the blue one or was he the green one? I can't remember. And it's athletic. Swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. And um, Mouse Boy was just a random original idea that I was just looking through outfits and I wanted to base um, a character off of the hat or helmet that he's wearing. So I'm not going to show what his face looks like underneath. That is a secret, and you'll have to get him from my gallery if you want to know what he looks like underneath. But his name is Mouse Boy, so that should give you a hint. And cold weather and hot weather, did I skip or did I already show it? And those are my four monsters that live in the Forgotten Hollow 